this video, I'm going to show you why this is what happens when you make a chosen one cry. Now bear with me because I am going to go into deep psychological reasons of why things happen. First of all, let's explain what is a chosen one. Chosen one is a term basically meant as the dark horse of the family. Someone who's probably misunderstood, does things a little bit differently than everybody else, who maybe thinks differently, has different value sets, probably is going for quote unquote, the glory. He's going for the glory. He's chosen per se, because he's the one who is whose path is a little bit more steeper, a little bit more high risk, high reward type of life, but generally it's for the betterment of himself and for society because when he actually succeeds, it will be betterment, it will be better for society. Now, who are examples of chosen ones? The first example of a quote unquote chosen one is let's use an example as LeBron James. He even has chosen one tatted on himself. He is a chosen one. He was chosen to fulfill a mission and he has fulfilled his mission. He has he was the one the reason why he was the chosen one because he took a very a very unconventional path and he pretty much took a path that was not guaranteed and he won from it. He was chosen. You're chosen. Chosen one think differently, they take more risks and they're pursuing some sort of mission that is given to them. They're pursuing some sort of mission that is given to them a mission that is given to them so like i said chosen ones nowadays are usually probably more for an example let's just use a modern day example they're probably the one who is looked at differently they may come they probably stand out in terms of conventional thinking they're probably doing some sort of opposite thing when it comes to conventional thinking they probably are a little bit more entrepreneurial minded they're probably more they bet on themselves probably more anybody who's basically watching this video is pretty much a chosen if 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 you agree with any of the things that i've posted then you're pretty pretty much pretty much a chosen one because this is not mainstream stuff you're not gonna find this on the news this is basically the outlier basically so what i'm saying is this is what happens when you make a chosen one See the thing is the thing the thing is about chosen ones they have a super high ceiling super super high ceiling their floor might not be but their floor is not the highest they have they, there's pre pretty much two there's pretty much two types of ways that they can go about life they can be doing very doing maybe below average they're just they're below they might just be doing something below average they're, they're pretty much there's they're, they're basically on the two extremes they're every they're everything but average they're either below average or they're super above average. There's nothing really in between. They can't really stay in a stagnant spot of being in a stagnant like middle line. If there's a medium curve, they're either on the super high end or the super low end. There's no there's no in between. They like excitement. So this is what I'm saying. When this is what happens when you make a chosen one cry. Now, like I said before, chosen ones have super high ceilings. So out of the gate, they're probably not going to show you all of their potential right out of the gate. They may have, they have a lot of potential, but you're not going to see that. It will take time for you to see their potential. So out of the gate, to the physical eyes of what maybe society, anybody, society, family members, siblings, things like that, friends, to the physical eyes, if when they are looking at chosen God, chosen one, they are probably judged a whole lot because they're not like the their peers because they have a special mission they have a special mission for them so they're not doing what everyone else is doing because they're not doing everything whatever else is doing they're being judged extremely hard because they're not like the rest see they have an extremely high ceiling but their floor is not they're not gonna maybe maybe if we're talking about tests they're not going to be in the average they're either super they're doing super well or they're doing really bad so it's in the middle so it's not in the middle so the bottom line is out of the floodgates when they when they become chosen there's gonna be doubts maybe for example we're using lebron james there was doubts especially when he started can't be this all this everything against him all of these things but as time goes on and they are consistently working on themselves consistently working on their life consistently just doing their mission consistently consistent over a period of time and this is gonna take years let's look at it from a 10-year standpoint from a 10-year standpoint maybe from a time when they're 10 years old to, let's use from 20 years old to 30 years old in that age range to 30 to 40 there is going to be dramatic increase and eventually when the time comes they're going to skyrocket it's like a, it's going to be linear 
then there's going to be a time or curve where they skyrocket to the moon. This is when they become pretty much the chosen. They've already been the chosen ones, but people are physically going to see their eyes of them being the chosen. So when they, when someone makes them feel and a lot, they're also very subject to getting picked on, very subject to getting bullied, very, very subject because they're not the, like the rest of people. So they're going to get picked on a lot. So the bottom line is when you make a chosen one cry, when you make, when you bully a chosen one, when you make them cry, when you make them feel inferior, when you just make them feel as if they're just not normal and they're not like the rest of the people, eventually what's going to happen is there is some sort of payback in terms of their success. There will be a sort of payback because normal, normal average people don't really understand what a chosen one goes through. They look at all the things that they physically see in the present and they say it doesn't add up. You're not doing things right. You're going to be a failure. These are what this is what happens. When you finally see a chosen one's real potential, you are going to be very sorry because when you've actually seen their potential, you doubted them. And now because they're doing so well, they're doing something so noteworthy. This is when you're going to have regret for maybe even picking on them or something like that. So when a chosen one cries, realize these are cries of anticipation because you, chosen one's tears are like fuel for them to skyrocket to the, to the holy grail of life. This is what you have to realize. So when they cry, realize that you're actually stirring a very big pot. And eventually the person who are making them cry, they will regret it because they do not understand the chosen one. Chosen one is someone who gets is misunderstood and gets picked on. But when the society finally sees what they were capable of, people are sorry. People are, so use it, let's use for example Michael B. Jordan. There's a video girl who used to pick on him in high school and he remembered it and basically he was saying that the lady was saying you're not she's he's not corny anymore and this is what just happens when the chosen one cries like aka when they get maybe picked on and then finally see their true potential in this scenario michael b jordan when they finally see the true potential people are going to be astonished they did not see it coming the only person who sees it coming is the chosen one himself this is what you have to realize so it would be in your best interest if there is people around you maybe if you're in a setting a social setting school setting something like that and they are getting picked on i would be very wary on picking on people because picking on other people is just making you realize that you're just part of the 99 percent misunderstood you, you do not understand the codes of the chosen one so if you're picking on the person you're saying that you're part of the 99 percent you don't understand the one percent how the one percent becomes one percent is what you have to realize you are literally telling yourself that you are a normal person if you are picking on somebody else chosen ones are never going to initiate any sort of competitive anything they're super empathetic but when when it is time to pay they will make you pay in terms of their success who they become their attention their standards just the holy presence of them is just super reckoning it is very astonishing at who they can become their potential so anytime realize this i'll leave you off with this realize anytime you're making a chosen one cry you're actually giving those tears are fuel to their success because they use that emotion to literally climb up the social hierarchy to, to climb up the hierarchy of pretty much life become who they become and the only thing once they reach the top they're never looking back this is what you have to realize is like comment subscribe